I know um, a lot of people will already know this stuff, but for those that don't, I let you know. So a lot of the things I explain in this series I've noticed when I'm watching is like, really, did I need to explain that? Because it's such simple, basic Minecraft, but if you don't know, you just don't know. So how's that for an explanation? If you don't know, you don't know. Brains by Keith Allison. And yes, I know I said my last name, but you know what? I'm pretty sure that nobody cares about my existence here. Enough to want to give me a hard time in real life. I trust that. If you're so lame, they want to have to hunt me down. Because I make crappy YouTube, well, excellent YouTube videos, yes, let's refresh that, excellent YouTube videos, then there's a problem with you, and you know what, I kick your ass. Because I ain't afraid. I've done living my life afraid. It's no fun. So yeah, and you know, if you want to hunt me down, so you can hang out and talk with me, yay, go right ahead, feel free, but I'm a busy person, I have a hard enough time finding time to film these, I uh, don't even edit them properly, don't even know what I say half the times, just go with the flow. I do actually, when I'm editing, um, in the past, I would <clears throat> edit the video, so I'd watch all the content in the video while I was editing it, editing it, then when it was done, I would watch it again, just to make sure it was, um, there was nothing majorly wrong that I had possibly missed for YouTube, and, um, Then once it was uploaded to YouTube, <laughs> I would watch it again because just to make sure it was uploaded properly. And basically I've come to realize that most of the times I've watched it, once I've edited it, it's been pretty good. And if there's some, if there's a big screw up that I might have done because of, I have like five minutes of black space by accident in the middle of the video. Uh, somebody's gonna message me and I can take it down and fix it real quick um, Now instead of watching the video while I'm editing editing ding ding editing ding 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 it um, I like to add syllables to my words editing the video um, I Don't watch it again Even after it's rendered. I won't I will not watching these videos a second time. I did initially when I first began, but um, I don't have time, <laughs> believe it or not. Uh, recording of videos and doing the editing, which takes about 45 minutes for each one of these episodes. So basically what I, what I do is I record for two hours approximately sometimes I go over I you know once I get close to the end of the two hours I figure out what I want to do before I end the episode then I complete that um, oops and I have to pillar up so it takes two hours to record an episode or a week of episodes then it takes about 45 minutes of me editing even though there is sucky no actual editing involved um i rewatch it and i find a good place to cut the video f between weeks because as you know i don't start each v week's video 
But uh, hey, this is Keith, uh, and this is what I do, and this is what's going to happen this video, because that's kind of a week recording for the whole week. Not a week recording in general, but a week's worth of recording, and I don't set up while I'm recording. I'm going, okay, well, it's been 20 minutes. Here's the episode. I just go for two hours and find the cut spots. So when I rewatch it and edit it, um, I basically um, write down the times where I think the video is decent. And so I'll, while I'm editing this and making sure everything's okay, I go, okay, well, between minute 232 to 356, I say some interesting stuff, and I would like to include that into my weekly cut video scene, so I write those times down. <clears throat> Let's get that. Oh, okay. I thought I lost one of my buckets of waters. Um, so, ooh, I did catch you. Hold on. I hate playing this close to lava. Um, so that's what I do. I kind of rewatch it, f write down the times where interesting stuff happened that I might want to put in the, the cut video at the end of the week and save that as a, you know, a text file. And then I render it. So each 20 minute video, uh, takes about 45 minutes to render so what I usually do is hang out with my family while I, and I render them. I spend the day and render the whole, or actually I spend the day and edit the whole week's episodes. So um, that takes 45 minutes per video times, say, six. So uh, three, six, nine hours? No, that's wrong, four and a half hours of editing for each week and the rendering is another four and a half hours of nothing each week so that's nine eleven hours with the recording of it and maybe another hour to do the best of cut and while I'm uh, doing all this you know I'm thinking of thumbnails saying oh I thought you were gonna blow up too it's like I have an extra reach or something. So even though it is unedited videos for the most part, it still does take 10, 15 hours a week for me to <coughs> do all this. I don't know. I'm just amazed. You know, I think, oh, I can record two hours worth of episodes and you know, maybe four hours a week, I can have a nice, long-lasting series I can do for a long time. And it does, just takes longer than expected. It's the same. Um, with any series, it's everything takes longer than expected. That's just how life is. Which is fine. Longer than expected isn't the end of the world. I enjoy doing this, so it's not like I'm, oh man, I gotta edit. Oh man, I've gotta record. Oh man, I gotta stop burping in my mouth when I record. It's not a hassle. I do enjoy doing this, and I do really respect the feedback I get. Um, and you notice. Last week, I didn't realize I was going to do this. Hey, look at this diamond right away. Okay. I think I'm close to the entrance because I think that was one of the first things I saw. Um, huh. Let's get rid of you. So, you notice that. Two on top of each other. So, probably right in there, there's another two. So, let's see. No, I got cheaped out. 
Oh, suck. Well, it has in a box of chocolates. I'm just going through making sure I have all the things I need before I leave this cave system. Then I'm going to finish the trek. And then I'm going to, no matter how little. Um, and the side I do actually have, I'm going to at least do the entrance and give you an idea of what this, this whole structure that I'm breaking blocks in right now will look like eventually. So let's get the flock out of here because I think I've cleaned the cave up pretty well. Ouch. But I just don't know where exactly I came in. Oh, there's some more. And last week, I forget exactly which day, I was having some uh, diabetic insulin, not insulin, sugar issues, and I had to leave for a couple of minutes. And what I did was I added a song while you looked. I hear you. Okay. Oh. Wait a second. Oh, that's right. Okay. I got turned around there for a second. Um, while I was away from the computer, I kept on recording. And so it was me just looking at a zombie spawner as it was filling up with zombies. And I put in a song. And um, give you an idea of some of the stuff I had done. And that particular song was part of a thing I was doing at the time, which was um, a song a day, which lasted about three days, because it was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. I don't think I've been up there. I think I'm going to have to go. And seeing that it was a song a day, Hey, buddy. Okay, I haven't been up here. Boy. And seeing it was a song a day, I only had, and I was working at the time, I only had certain free time to do this. And uh, so it was like rush home from work. Oh, hi, Skelly. So it's kind of like rush home from work and write a song and record it and put it up on the internet and fast the time as I possibly could uh, so I can go do other stuff. <laughs> and uh, that's what that song was. And I think it was called Blue. It's a song I kind of forgot I had, to tell you the truth. Um, not a great song, but it was the right length for the... time I needed while I was gone. It was I was away from the mic for about 3 minutes and 20 seconds and I needed a song that I had written so it wouldn't be copyright controlled uh, for 3 minutes and 20 seconds. And I am hoping I did record that song onto YouTube a long time ago because this was like a song that is... Let's get rid of the bow. Um... The song was made in 2000, 
nine maybe it's an older song there's not one I've actually thought about much since I've created it so I'm not saying it's a bad song it just fit the situation and I'm trying to kind of give you an idea of what it was all about so you guys know because it was a weird thing and I'm just looking at a sponder and this really strange music was <laughs> playing and I didn't really explain it in the episode because I didn't really know what I was gonna do with it while I was recording it um, but that's what it was it was a quick quickly written maybe written in about a half hour and recorded in about an hour and uploaded to YouTube immediately I have uh, three or four songs like that and that was the one that happened to make it onto the last video. But I think in the future, um, when I do AFK things, I am gonna uh I I am gonna ah, probably stick around and just talk about shit. Not literally. Because who wants to know about the corn and stuff in my shit? I don't even want to know about the corn in my shit. That's kind of gross. Next subject, please. I think I've cold myself out. Let's get this. Figure a way out of this cave. That was super, super huge. But has helped me out a ton. Oh, don't wash away lots of torches, please. Come on. Any torches? One. I can handle that. Okay, we're not down there. So you know how I uh, told you having no torches on the left side brings me back to the beginning, but when it's a situation like this when you're in this crazy ass cave like this it doesn't usually get you where you came from usually I'm hoping I am wrong so follow the left toward there's things following me aren't there doesn't matter follow me Sounds like I'm going back over to where they are. <laughs> There's a thingy up there. Hey, I'm right here. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Is there a cave up there? I think that's just a little hollow. Opening, I hope I'm not going around in circles. Around and around. Show you why. Here we go. I'm going to run back to the beginning and drop off a lot of the stuff I got in that cave. Then look at my coordinates at the beginning because obviously I messed up with my torches. And I want to make sure that I end it at the right place so I don't have to worry about having the tunnel being 254 blocks instead of 250 blocks long it really really matters so much so that I don't know okay it doesn't matter at all diamond gold Lots of coal. I'm going to have to expand my chest here. Which means bye bye Mr. Crafting Table. You can go right here so I can build the second half of my chest because I did need you. Even though I just destroyed you. That's good planning on my part. So bye bye Mr. American Chest. I'm going to smelt this. I guess I should smelt that too. 
Lots of coal. Smelted. Smelt. Smelted. Smelt. At least this is a good way of getting some good stuff, I guess. Might be a little boring on your side, but hey. That's okay. It's K. 